Hey there folks, John here with you, my lens, and today I'm coming to you with another knife-related video. Today I'm going to try to answer a question that I see from newcomers to the Shirogorov knife brand fairly often, and that is, the F95, the F3, or the Hati, which one should I get? Now Shirogorov makes many different models of knives, and many of those are often offered in multiple quality variations, so it can be very confusing. But their three most popular, well-known models are the F95, F3, and the Hadi. So choosing between these three models can be a little confusing because in many respects, the F95, F3, and Hadi are all variations of the same knife. Now before I explain that, let me acknowledge that while I do have variations of the F95, the F3 uh, present here on the table, I don't actually have a Hadi. Uh, I do want one. I just haven't been able to track one down yet. Regardless, I think I'll be able to make my points about the differences between these three knives using this Hatian Zero as a stand-in for the Hati. It's largely just a reduced size uh, Hati. Now, I think the best way to start by explaining the difference between these three knives is to start with their scales. Now, the F95 was actually Shiro Gorov's first model offering and it recently celebrated its 10th anniversary. It's a titanium frame lock, uh, so it has titanium handle scales on both uh, the presentation side and the clip side. It's also unique from the other two Shirogorov models that it's the only one that employs standoffs instead of a backspacer. Here you can see this, uh, this standoff, kind of blue anodization in the center of it uh, here on this uh, F95 frag. Now, the F3 is, the, uh, is unique from the other two here in that it's the only model that's a liner lock. And it typically employs handle scales uh, made from carbon fiber, both on the presentation side and the clip side. Or it may use micarta in some rare cases. Now, the Hadi, uh, it's also a titanium frame lock. Um, so it's going to have, on the clip side, uh, titanium, uh, and it is a titanium frame lock, um, and the presentation side would be made from carbon fiber. And there can be some other subtle variations uh, between the three models, uh, such as blade shape, jimping, and pocket clip, but these are the major differences. And again, while this is a hottie on zero, it, it is also a titanium frame lock on one side, carbon fiber uh, presentation side, Again, very, very similar to the, the Hadi. Now, all three of these knives uh, have a blade length of the approximate same length, about 3.75 inches. And they all have the same finish. Uh, it's the same standard sheer grab, uh, uh, very light stone wash or vapor, vapor wash, I've, I've heard in some cases, that very consistent, nice, smooth finish. And I'll use a very similar configuration for the attachment hardware. You can see uh, the screws are very similar, uh, even here with the Hatian Zero. Um, pivot with uh, a body screw uh, toward the end of the body. Again, these three models have far more in common than the actual differences. So again, many ask, which should I choose? Now, in terms of my own personal preferences, I do tend to gravitate toward titanium frame locks, which have uh, carbon fiber on the presentation side. That's one of the reasons why I started off with the Hadian Zero when I got into Shirogorov. I've actually been trying to find a Hadi R uh, for several months. But I also think that Shirogorov is soon going to be releasing a new version of the Hadi, which would replace that previous Hadi R, hopefully yet this year. Uh, so I'm keeping an eye out for that. The Hadi does uh, also uh, tend to be the lightest of these three models at about 4.25 ounces in weight. Um, it's a slight margin, but it, again, it, it does win out in, in that particular uh, metric. Now, both the F95 and the F3 have really surprised me for different reasons. I actually didn't expect to keep either one of them, and yet I actually have two different versions of the F3. Uh, this, this F3 NS uh, which you can find a review of here in my channel. And more recently, I picked up one of the older F3Rs. 
uh, and I did review that on the channel as well. Now the F95 has the best, really the best deployment action of the three knives. knives. It's super smooth opening and it's completely drop shut. Uh, the model that I have could benefit just a little bit from a heavier detent, uh, but that's really just a matter of, of personal taste or personal preference. Now both the F3s that I have are some of my most carried knives. I love the aesthetic of the carbon fiber and it's hard to beat uh, the durability uh, that carbon fiber brings as compared to the F95, which is going to pick up some scratches on the titanium as well as some imperfections to the anodized finish if I'm not careful when I carry it. Now the F3 is a bit chunkier, which will make a difference when I carry uh, this knife completely submerged in my pocket as I typically do during uh, the work week uh, versus, you know, clipped to my pocket. I didn't think I'd like the F3 because it's a liner lock, but really it's no ordinary liner lock. The, the titanium liners are so thick that it's really like uh, an, an F9, you, you took an F95 and put carbon fiber scales over them. It's really slightly less smooth than the F95, but really has a deployment, uh, an awesome deployment action. Look at, when I hold these up together, look at the outline of the, uh, the liners on the F3 versus the F95. Again, they look so very similar. The, the F3 has really thick, uh, albeit uh, they are lightened with lots of, uh, of internal milling um, to get that super lightweight that the, that the knife has. Um, the deployment action isn't quite as drop shut as my F95, but it's close. It's really close. Um, and while the, the thinner carry profile of the F95 really does make it a bit preferable to carry, I do think I like the F3 in hand slightly better. It kind of fills the hand nicely because, uh, again, it is a little chunkier. But again, the differences here are very subtle. Now, I tend to believe that the Hottie combines the best features of both the F95 and the F3 into one baby bear soup package the thinness of the F95, and the durability of the carbon fiber found on the F3. Um, again, I really can't wait to be able to track down uh, a, uh, a Hadi R or whatever is going to replace that uh, when Shirogorov releases it, uh, because again, I really do like a titanium frame lock with carbon fiber on one side. Uh, I, th I think it's, it's, it's just going to be the best of both worlds here and I think it'll be my personal preference. I don't think I'll be getting rid of uh, either of these anytime soon. Again, they've really surprised me at how, how much I like them, particularly the F3. Um, I'm just really, really in love uh, with this particular knife. And uh, just really, I enjoy, I've really been enjoying carrying both the versions of the F3 that I have. So, you know, as, as you take a look at uh, you know, which one should I get? Again, the F95, the F3, or the Hottie. Uh, again, they're, they're all pretty much the same knife with just some subtle differences that will appeal to some individuals. And for many, including myself, it's really not a question of which one am I going to buy. It's a question of which one am I going to buy first. Well, there you have it. There's kind of my comparison and overview of these three super popular models from Shirogorov Knives. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.